there guys, welcome to Jakarta. I can't believe I'm here. It wasn't supposed to be Indonesia on this trip, but I just love Malaysia so much. I just wanted to come here as well. I'm absolutely loving it. Just arrived, been in about 10 strangers pictures. <laughs> I'm not even joking. So I started right in the city center in the heart with this statue, which is called Salamat Datang, which means welcome to Indonesia. They do have no car days, which is a Sunday. So this is like a walkable place. It's also got the nickname, the durian fruit, because it's like the New York of Indonesia. So the big apple, the durian fruit. It's, well, the main city in Indonesia. It's on the Java Island. It's got a population of 11 million people, but the metropolitan area is about 32 million people. It's also got the reputation of being the most polluted city in the world. So we're gonna take a wander through, look at the best bits, try the local food. So let's get going. Welcome to Old Town Jakarta or Kota Tour as the locals call it. I wanted to start here to just imagine all of the spices flowing down here in the 1700s. It was actually one of the first walled settlements the Dutch built in Jakarta. This was the first building here. It's now the museum. You see all the kids on the bikes around here. It's very vibrant. It's a nice pink one here. And you might have spotted the famous Batavia Cafe, which was the original Dutch house. And you've got a lovely view of the square from upstairs. So let's take a look around. <laughs> on the hunt for the beach in Jakarta and the entrance is like any theme park entrance which has surprised me. So it's called Anchol and you get a little water park, the beach area, restaurants. It's very clean and very organized. It's 30,000 rupiah which is about £1.50. You have to pay with cash. They don't take cards. They, they just let me in for free which was super kind. So we're gonna walk down there, have a look at the beach, and yeah, let's get some food as well. well I've just met Alfar, haven't we? Hi. So <laughs> Alfar is very kind. He's offered to explain what I've got on my plate. Yes. So let's go for it, Alfar. So basically what you have now is like Indonesian food. Yeah. And we have normal, like we eating in our home. So basically we have sambal. Yeah. This is a spicy one. So every, a, a, any kind of food in Indonesia, we have to do this part so and this sambal is sambal yeah, yeah sambal yeah and some of vegetable we call sayur mm -hmm. and uh, this is like main so this is chicken yeah it's normal so yeah probably we have also the uh, rendang i think you have rendang right yeah a little bit uh, yeah rendang so it's like our uh, specific uh, indonesian food right okay yeah. and the nasi is the rice yeah nasi is the rice and yeah. this is like our mean so everything like we eat in indonesia supposed to be have a uh, rice right <laughs> thank you very much and what have you got yeah. what, what have you got there? so basically i think mine is also quite similar with you but i have like special uh, vegetables and this is uh the cooking with the coconut yeah. sauce we calling like gulai 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 right gulai. so this is uh, uh for the uh, uh, some some of vegetable as well. Okay. They cooking with with uh, coconut uh, sauce. And you said that the it's better to eat in the mall of the street food than on the street. I think so because uh, in my uh, experience, like if you eat, basically they have all of this food in the street food. Mm -hmm. But I suggest you to eat in mall because mall is more clean and they guarantee that you don't have uh, something dirty there. <laughs> so and it's it's, it's spicy as well. Yeah, but it's not really spicy, I think, in more because they they uh, uh, they follow uh, 
some of visitors from outside of overseas so they can try this it's not really spicy well thank you so much do you know <laughs> i've been very lucky because i had a kind person in malaysia a kind Singapore. person in Singapore and now Indonesia. Indonesia. So thank you very much. Welcome. We are in the Grand Mall in Jakarta and just like Malaysia, they love shopping malls in Indonesia. We're going to have a little look through. <laughs> we were just inside the shopping mall here so two extremes you've got the nice modern mall and then you've got the traditional street food section here hello you see straight off the bat people are so friendly we're gonna go down here and just see what we can find chaos is the first thing hello hello how are you how are you yeah good good and yeah. the price hello, madam. hello man How are you? i'm very good nice you thank you, thank you. Yeah. what, what is this it's a pinball fish pinball fish what's that vegetable pinball fish 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 yes. ah fish uh, okay you know wow this? yeah yeah wow so everyone's got this hello <laughs> he looks like he needs to be in the fryer <laughs> from england yeah Thank you guys. Sorry. Oh, good man. How to cross the road in Indonesia? Well, there is no method. You just got to go for it. So they're coming from here, from there, and from down here, and we're just going to go. That's the only way to do it. Right, you see, everyone's doing the same. I do love this side of Indonesia. I love it. <laughs> It's just mental. We are down the back streets of Jakarta here. As you can hear, it's very busy. I'm looking for a place to do my laundry and I found one here, this guy. It's one pound for a bag of laundry. Cheers, man. Thank you. Very friendly people. So we're just gonna walk down here. There's a chocolate bar. Hello. YouTube, YouTube. YouTube. yeah, they all know. Um, there's a chocolate bar I wanna buy actually, which is here. So it's the Silver Queen and the lady in the shop told me it's the most popular chocolate bar. So in the middle of the street, we will try it. Let's open it up. It's the same price as my laundry. I'm absolutely starving, so let's get stuck straight in. Looks a bit like a Toblerone. Wow, that's good. This, this noise is normal. It's so vibrant, I love it so much. We are in the thick of the Chinatown in Jakarta. We're just gonna walk through and see what we can find. Seems to me like a lot of stuff is closed early. It's a national holiday today, I've just been informed. Hello.
I think we've picked a bad day, to be honest. Loving Jakarta. So as we're going through here, I thought I'd explain the visa system. So we've done Thailand, we've done Malaysia, we've done Singapore, and now we're in beautiful Indonesia. Hello. Hello. Thank you. So you see, it is beautiful. The people are very nice. Coming into the country, you need to have a visa. And if you don't have one before you arrive, it's 40 US dollars and they'll give it you there. So it's the only country where I've needed a visa. And it's the only country where, just let these bikes go past, where I've needed to have proof that I'm leaving the country. So you need to have that as well. So I just booked a flight to Vietnam there and then. We are still in the Chinatown. And I'm going to give you a bit of information. There's 13 rivers that flow through Jakarta. 40% of the city is below sea level. And as we've already seen in this video, the flooding problem they have, the city is slowly sinking. They're going to be moving the capital to the island of Borneo. Hello. Hello, do you see how friendly everyone is here? They're going to be moving it to the island of Borneo. Is Jakarta going to survive? Of course it is, because it's amazing and I'm abs absolutely loving it. This gentleman here is helping me top up my card, aren't you? <laughs> and this lady, so yeah, it's, they... it's taken two. It's yeah. to, I, there's no way I could do this on my own. So using the public transport, you need to buy the card, don't you? And that's 30,000. Yes. 30,000 and then you just keep topping it up it, the machine the machine's not in English no yeah <laughs> we are at the National Monument it's actually closed I've arrived on time and they've closed it early so it's not just us that are missing out it's everyone else the reason why I didn't film so much of this beautiful city Jakarta is because I was so sick two days in bed and it, this is just <laughs> I was supposed to be in Bali yesterday and I'm just recovering so I apologize about that but let's go through some things would I come back again 100% I think there's so much to do for a family and a solo traveler as well cheap much cheaper than Malaysia and cheaper than Thailand people are very friendly the only thing that I did find a bit strange was the public transport isn't in English the the machines but other than that I mean everyone speaks English I just can't believe they've closed this early so we're not the only ones I will see you in Bali there's some more Indonesia videos coming and thanks to all the new subscribers see you in the next video